Okay, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading. So today we finally got the rate decision from the Fed. We've been waiting for this for at least a couple of weeks now after the banks started to really have a tough uh, time. Were they going to raise rates? I have been saying for a while that I think the market started to price in that they were not going to raise rates today, that they were going to pause because of everything going on with the banking sector. That did not happen. So one of the things we were looking at in our Discord group was if they do raise rates and if Powell is hawkish at all, expect the market to crash. And that's exactly what happened today. So, you know, I'll go over a couple of trades that I took today, but it was a very, very good setup to go short at high of day. It was a very good setup. We were coming into resistance and that was the play for today. So anyway, going into what happened. All right. Like I said, the Federal Reserve raised rates by 25 basis points, the 25 basis points was expected before that whole bank issue, all right? And then people started to talk about the pause, like I said. That did not happen. He also said during his press conference that the goal is that 2% inflation, all right? We are nowhere close to that. So they're going to do what it takes. And he did say the road will be bumpy from here on out. And we saw with the banks, you know, having issues, he doesn't seem to care. Uh, you know, having inflation so high, that really is an issue that has to be addressed. And he sounded pretty, uh, pretty hawkish. Um, the terminal rate, which is that rate that they want to get to, is between 4.75% and 5%. All right. So what normally should happen and I'll go over to the bond yields here. What normally should happen is this two year should be trading around that terminal rate, maybe a little bit under the terminal rate. So what happened here was the yields went down a ton, which honestly makes no sense. And what the bond market is predicting is other things will end up breaking. The Fed's going to stop and even lower rates. But that's simply not what Powell just said. So these are just starting to trade not in sync with what Powell is saying. So expect some more volatility. But today, we got that. We got that volatility. So as traders, scalp traders, day traders, what we like to look for are those quick moves. And a day like today is perfect for that. All right, so what was I looking at? First, we took QQQ puts, made $535 very quickly today. Um, I got into puts as I posted right here. So I posted here at 208. I got inputs on the queues. I have seven days on these. So going to let it work. I didn't even have to let it work. The move came immediately. So when a move comes immediately, you're able to keep so much of that premium, right? You have no theta, there's no DK. So I decided to close out the position um, and keep a lot of that premium and also a lot of that nice profit. Um, you know, especially in this type of market, we've seen things, you know, drop, We've seen things go up, come back. So taking profit, there's nothing wrong with. On the queues, this was an area of interest that I was looking at. You can see it's kind of a supply zone. Big moves down, big moves down from this area, right? Big moves down. So when we were coming back up to it and we were trading around that 314 today, that 314 level, Oh man, that was just that was just a beautiful setup to go short. And this is when I got into my 
puts. Like I said, around 208. I got into puts here, 314, and uh, actually right here. So I actually sat through this 10 minutes of this stop loss hunting, but it was still well in my range, right? It was still in that supply zone. So there was no reason to cut this trade. Uh, maybe went down $100. So the risk to reward here was definitely worth it. But got into puts here. Hopefully some others followed on the Discord and made themselves some good money. Now, I did close out um, before this move. So I took this move, got out. It popped back up, which I guess I would have been happy to have gotten out. Another chance to go short here. And look at that. Right from the supply zone, just totally tanked. Um, and, you know, a lot of times what will happen is at 2 o'clock, the rates will come out. Powell will start to speak. The market will go up. And then it will reverse. I've seen this happen so many times. So many reversals take place on a day like this. So um, that's going to be it. Just a quick, quick little video here. Like I said, making $535 just in one day on that one trade. So all it takes is just one good trade, some quality setups, like taking puts when a market like the Qs is so overbought. It's so, all the stocks are just so overbought. We were coming into resistance. I mean, for me, that's definitely an A-plus setup. But I still take a week out on my, ex, uh, my options because, you know, if that move doesn't happen immediately, I want more time for the trade to work out. I don't like same day. I don't like next day. I like to take a week out uh, for my options. All right, hit the thumbs up for the video. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.